our actions and the will of God become the definition of our destiny. And for now, the reason for your presence and receiving these words in your heart is also only because of these two reasons. And these two reasons are determining your destiny even now. So, if you really value your destiny and believe in the divine plans of God, do not leave this message incomplete. Before you move ahead in the video, let me ask you this question first. Are you tired of praying? Are you tired of hoping and expecting things to turn in your favor? If yes, then let me remind you of God's word and what he says about a same person whose state of mind is similar to you. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28 says, Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and he increases strength to him who has no might. Even youth shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Did you really hear what God has promised to the people like you and me who easily get affected by the situation around us? Look, it's normal to get exhausted. It's normal to feel tired sometimes. But staying in that exhaustion or tiredness without expecting or hoping things to get sorted out is what put you in a dangerous situation. It is the only reason this crucial message was trying to reach you since last year from the day when your life entered a dramatic phase of life the day from where some things in your life got out of your control the day when you were stressed out too much about your future days. The scripture tells us about an incident that says, When Moses was leading 600,000 people in the wilderness, on the way to the promised land, and all those people were depending on him. He got a promise from the Almighty God. Moses, being the leader, had to bear the burdens of so many people. They would bring personal problems, turmoil and situations to him for justice or solution. So, Moses had to carry not only his own burden but the burden of thousands. In addition to this, he also had to meet their basic needs, provide food for them, clothe them, and shelter them. Now just imagine the stress he would have been through. It is really difficult to even think about the stress 
he might be facing at that time. But amid a stressful situation, the Lord said to Moses that he need not carry all those burdens and promised to give him peace in every situation. I will go before you and I will give you rest, said the Lord to Moses. You might have gone through some similar unfair situations. It may seem like the struggle, the loneliness and the depression is your only destiny. There is no breakthrough, no miracle, no anointing from God's hand in your destiny. For such a time, these incidents can become a really great inspiration to overcome the phases of stress and tiredness. Remember, dear child of God, the Lord is willing and able to do much more for us than we ask or think. Know that God is not unaware of your situation. He knows about everything in your life and He wants us to trust Him truly, to say goodbye to all the feelings of anxiety and stress. So, dear child of God, do not let the moments of anxiety make you feel exhausted, tired or stagnant in life and never stop praying to God about all your situations. So please come and join me in prayer. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for being an overcoming God. Thank you for sending me these holy words today that help me understand I must overcome stressful situations by continuously hoping in you. Lord, I know I can take hurt because you have overcome the world. Empower me to rise above my circumstances. Help me to cast my anxiety on you because you care for me. Give me your power to overcome. Thank you, O oh Lord my God, for the knowledge that there is nowhere I can go and that is beyond the range of your protection, power and comfort. Father Lord, I give you all the glory, all the honor, for you are worthy to receive my adoration. Lord, I am sorry for the sins I have committed. I pray and ask for your mercy and forgiveness. I ask for your forgiveness for the people I have hurt along the way in my journey. Father Lord, you know me, you made me, you love me, you meet me where I am at this moment. My eyes are always fixed on you, from where my help comes, strengthen me, Father, and increase my faith in you. Father Lord, I believe that you will save me from my problems and will keep me in peace throughout my life. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen.